Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is August 27th at 11 o'clock. Um, actually, it's 11.10 now. I just walked out of the building. I am in scrubs. As you can see, I'm in scrubs. A pair of my favorite scrubs, actually. And I am about an hour and a half away from home, y'all. I'm on my school campus because your girl had to retake a test. I failed my dosage calculation test. So for those of you who are new here, I am Andrea Siobhan. I am a respiratory therapist. I'm currently an LPN in nursing school. I've been in school for literally a week, like a week and a day since school has started. And so far, so good. I feel like there's really not much. Oh, it's 11-11. Make a wish. Anyway, anyway, um, yes. Wait, what was I saying? There's not really anything to update you guys on as of yet when it comes to school i feel like school's going pretty good i really like my classmates i like my instructors so far the workload isn't it's, it's not too much but it's the beginning of school like school just started and for myself this is my first time being in traditional schooling y'all already know all the licenses and degrees and stuff that i have i went through military school so this is different this is um this is very very different i'm wrecking my nerves when i don't have to because i know things will fall into place but this setting and being in this type of educational setting for me is so different from what i've been used to for the past i don't know five plus years i've been in school so that's a that's a bit of a struggle that's a bit of a adjustment situation going on there for me because like i said as far as the workload it's not too much at all i just need to get into my own little battle rhythm i know you don't call that in this world but i gotta get into my own little battle rhythm to kind of just really know that i am doing things on time correctly and stuff like that so um like the different systems and stuff that we use to turn in assignments and homework and stuff like that i'm just trying to get used to all of that stuff as well as y'all i feel like so far what's stressing me out the most is um my clinical paperwork <laughs> my clinical paperwork i'm actually excited to start clinicals though unfortunately i am on night shift for my clinicals so i won't be able to work anymore so we're gonna see i don't know i'll i mean <laughs> life comes at you fast and i had some things come up in life that's gotten me down y'all when i say this what i'm going through i'm not going to talk about it just yet because i'm still going through it but i'm gonna tell you right now this is a different kind of low this is a different kind of low when you have people in your life that intentionally do, do things and like stoop to the lowest of the low to purposely try to hurt you all because nothing else was working at this point in my life i'm at peace i have amazing kids i have an amazing husband i I'm retired you know I don't have to work God thank God I don't have to work you know being in school I wanted to work just so I can save up a little bit of extra money but I don't have to work so with that being said I like I got accepted into nursing school like I didn't what listen I'm at peace I'm doing well and it's so crazy that one of the last vlogs I put up I was talking about that like how I'm just at peace how I'm just living my life and I'm just enjoying it and maybe I should never put that in an atmosphere because unfortunately I do have to deal with people in my life who do not want to see that for me at all. Like at all. And when I say they came in like a hurricane and just shook my whole world up and now I'm having to pay so much money to fix this whole little situation and to protect myself a little bit more. Y'all, mm, just wait just wait yeah it's been it's been one of those it's been one of those so sorry if my content is just a little bit more inconsistent than i usually am y'all already know me and my inconsistency a girl always doing something she always somewhere but this time is is just different i just didn't have the motivation as far as picking up the camera today i just felt like i just want to you know um like I said, God is always in my corner. There's nothing that he's put me through so far that he haven't bought me through. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not scared about this situation. I'm frustrated, if anything. It's frustrating. But as far as just letting it play out and just letting God put his hands on it, that's just where I'm at right now. And so far, when I say you really have to trust 
God's process. You have to trust his process, y'all. Just wait. Just wait. Anyway. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? So I am on campus because I had to take a dosage calculation test. I had to retake my test. I took it originally on the 19th when school started, but I did fail. I think it was the 19th. That was the 19th, right? Yes. It was the 19th. Um, so we came in on the 15th. We did our skills checkoffs. I passed all of those. We went, um, our first day of school was the 19th and we came in, we did our dosage calculation and we needed a 90 to pass and I got an 80. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I just took the test again and I will say I, I feel okay about it. I feel okay about it. Um, I don't know. I just, I swear y'all, when I be studying for these tests, I be feeling so good. I be feeling so good. I'm like, yes, I got this. But I, am I just not good at adjusting? Because every single time I go and sit down and I take the test, I look at the questions and I'm like, hold on. This don't, <laughs> I try my hardest. I try my hardest, I did. Um, like I said, I felt good about it. Some of the questions just completely had me in a chokehold. So I'm just gonna say I gave it my best. I gave it my all. I'm pretty sure if I didn't pass this time, I get booted from the program. Um, but again, I'm just taking everything in the stride. So if that was to happen, hey, that means this was the, it was something else. It was something else out there. So um, yeah, if y'all find out that I'm still in the program, just know I pass. <laughs> For so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Hey y'all, what's up? It's a little bit later. I just got up from a nap and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I was gonna go and pick Darion up from football practice, but Trey is not here, so I'm gonna assume he went and did that. He could walk from practice, it's literally right around the corner, but if I have the time, I like to pick him up. I like to drop him off at school, stuff like that. But um, y'all, I, hold on, what is the color? What, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? I call myself putting these two little ponytails. You can't even see that. <laughs> I call myself putting these two little ponytails in my fro, but I feel like I might take that out. I think that looks stupid. Like it don't look stupid in person. You know what? I'm leaving it in because it looks it looks fine in real life. Y'all know I don't know how to do my hair. I don't even do anything with my hair. So yeah. Then again, I have to put my headphones on, so I'm wondering if this is even a good idea. I should be able to go over, because I feel like my headphones sit right here. But what is up with, oh, what's going on over here? This is because I haven't curled my hair, like I haven't been to not in, been to knotted my hair in a while. So it's not cooperating. It don't, it looked like it don't have a shape. I'm pretty sure y'all saw in the previous shots when I was at school, it looked like I was wearing a helmet, looking like I'm Morty from Rick and Morty. But um, see, like whatever this piece right here is doing, it, it's irritating me. It just, it just want to do its own thing. Got it. it. I promise it looks right in person. Anyway, yeah, I have no clue why I decided to go to the gym. And it's literally a little after five o'clock. Speaking of gym, y'all, I got this gym set off Shein, right? So this is, this is the set. And it's cute, right? It's, it's gym-esque. It's gym-esque. And I think it's cute. It looks flattering on. right y'all this is not gym wear it's not and unfortunately i got a freaking drawer full of it so i have this these are all leggings and shorts 
these are all the different like the regular tops and then the top that i have on now and then my jackets i still have some stuff that i have to get out of the wash and fold and stuff like that um i wore the leggings the the leggings the brown leggings in the other top yesterday to the gym and that's why i say this is gym-esque because it was not holding up against what have holding up against like the gym equipment and stuff like that let me see if i can show y'all because it's advertised as gym wear but like when you sit on the floor when i was doing my hip thrust it's like i felt like my butt like the um, what is it the um I felt like I was going to rip my pants, basically. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Can you see that? Like how it was just dragging across any and everything. And my actual gym wear didn't do this. And then I even had on, when I was doing my hip thrust, I had on, um, I put my bar, my little bar bar pad my bar pad on and this is what was like anything that was touching this was just fraying like crazy so that's from the bar um pad and then this is from just simply lifting and putting my butt back on the floor so i mean it's kind of thin it is squat proof but again it's gym-esque it's not true gym wear it just looks like if you put it on you look like you work out i put it that way um, I already bought the sets and since they are cute, I'm going to go ahead and keep them until they completely demolish themselves. But yeah, I just won't be buying like maybe to just wear around. But then again, I need to see what they look like coming out of the washer because I didn't think about that. But yeah, gym S. Anyway, um, as far as my gym bag, y'all. I got new gym bags for the gym and this is the small one that I carry when I'm not needing my mats and stuff like that which is so freaking cute. I actually bought this on accident from Gymshark. I didn't realize this bag was going to be this small. Um, Yeah this is look, look at this. This is like a Pilates I'm going to like a class or something like that bag. So that's the only reason why I kept it and the fact that it was this was $34, I think. I'm like, okay, we'll see. So because of that, and I thought it was gonna be bigger than this, I ended up ordering this one, which was about $36 or something like that. Again, still small, but it's still cute. I definitely needed a new workout bag. The one that I had was, was coming to the end of its time. Sorry, y'all, I'm looking at these text messages. I took that test today, y'all, and on one of the, one of the I don't know if I can say that. I just know one of the questions, I know for a fact that I got wrong and I know why I got it wrong now and it's driving me crazy. Like if I would have just went one step further, I would have gotten it right and now it's just eating me up inside. <laughs> Hold on. Next thing I need to do. My deodorant almost all gone, but I refuse to get a new one until, well, I have other ones, but I like using Dove for the gym. The Native, I like it. It smells good, but it don't really, it's, I feel like Native is there for the scent. That's it. Hmm. I definitely need more socks. Anyway, as far as my fragrance for today, what do I want to wear? What do I have in the car? Oh, let's wear a body spray from in the car. We're gonna take this one today. This Alani, this is the Hawaiian shaped ice. All right, y'all, let's get up out of here. I still feel like I'm looking a straight up mess. Uh, hold on for a second hold on for a quick second found this um little decant full of perfume and i honestly have no clue what's in here but we're gonna use whatever's in there 
Mm-mm. Look at all that. I had no idea. It smells like. Yeah, I definitely think it's the Gucci bamboo. That works. spray myself down when it's time for me to put on perfume y'all see my collection up there i spray myself down when i say you gonna smell me for a little bit when i walk past when i leave the room i should still be able to be smelt in the room okay <laughs> i like to spray myself down throw that in a bag see myself let me check myself out check it out check it out oh that's cute oh my gosh okay let me stop come on let's go up at the gym and y'all I need to take my ass oh I need to go home but anyway today's session it was okay but I seriously need to stop coming to the gym around the time it's like super packed y'all I'm getting in a car and I just remember I have some freaking hold on y'all let me get my life together for a second Ugh. and I'm on I'm on my small camera, so let me go ahead and switch to my big camera real quick. That's better. Y'all, I completely forgot I have some freaking um, caramel apples in the trunk because I stopped at Walmart and I had grabbed some caramel apples. Oh yeah, I said I, f I went to Walmart to get water and I spent $52, y'all. I didn't spend $52 on water because I know somebody gonna be like, what kind of water did you buy? No, I bought some other stuff too. Well, I bought some pineapples my pineapples oh there they are i bought some pineapples and i bought a bunch of um caramel apples it's kind of warm out here so i'm hoping the kid the the caramel didn't like slide off the <laughs> slide off the apples hold on let me check Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. All right, I was, trick oh, bleh. I was texting Trey. He was asking me about how my workout and stuff went. It went fine, y'all. I feel like even for it being this busy, I pretty much made it through my entire workout. I wasn't able to finish. It's dark, <laughs> hold on. There we go. I'm so glad that was just the end of that song. I completely forgot about the energy I pulled up to the gym with. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was telling him, like, I made it through my entire workout. For it to be this busy, 
and I made it through my whole workout. I'm about to finish these pineapples that I bought earlier. But at the end, because y'all, I like to finish up my workouts with core, um, with core uh, exercise or whatever, working on my abs. I do that every day. Hand Cindy. Oh, jeez. Got my hand sanitizer. Which one is this? This is the Power Miss. What's is it? I feel like this is like, I don't know what fragrance this is, but it smells like peach or something like that. But yeah, I like to finish up my workouts doing ab work and I I was pretty Mm, I made it a decent way through so I, re I really wasn't too irritated about it but I just did not appreciate there's some couple in there I don't know if they're a couple but they literally have a freaking kid right with them like a little kid I'm gonna assume because the little daycare part is closing but they have this freaking kid with them and they're literally playing with the kid on the gym equipment as if it's a freaking playground and they just so happen to be playing on the the, 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 the little thing that I need to finish up my workout so I kind of worked around it. It threw me off because I go in a specific order. So it kind of threw me off a little bit, but it was fine. And I was done with everything else, y'all. They were still on these freaking machines playing with this freaking little boy. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me right now. Like nobody's working out. They're just playing on a machine. And they kept like putting him on a machine, letting him work out. He's swinging on a machine. And I'm sitting there like, I just, I just want to do my workout. I just want to do my workout. Anywho, I'm about to go ahead and stop at, um, do I want to stop here? Nah, Trey bought me some chicken. I'm going to just go home. I was going to stop at Chick-fil-A because I am, oh my gosh. I so desperately want some nice, hot, salty fries. But what are we doing, guy? What are we doing? I wanted some fries, but Trey bought me some wings, so we gonna go home and eat the wings. I'ma just snack on a few of these pineapples and call it a night. Mmm, mmm. Oh, those are so sweet. Oh, they are so good. I'm just gonna take four hash browns and a medium orange juice. You said four? Yes, please. You can put to the first one Thank you. Thank you so much. I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired. It is 0526 in the morning and I won't lie, your girl got up a little bit later than she wanted to. I wanted to be at by 4.30 because I kind of wanted to be at the place um, about 30 minutes early. But according to GPS, because I got up at 5, I'm going to be there about... 10 minutes early so that's still I mean I still feel like that's a decent time and the way I'm about to be driving I'm about to cut about five minutes off of that still so we're still good on time hold on y'all let me get my food thank you at McDonald's real quick so I can grab me some hash browns and I'm gonna eat these hash browns as slow as I can because lately I've been so queasy with a lot of the stuff that I usually like to eat I've been queasy no I'm not pregnant okay I checked I'm not and I'm on birth control so I'm not but I don't know why maybe my appetite is just changing I don't know but it's weird and I hate that because y'all know how much I love my hash browns it's not a game with these hash browns yes thank you all right y'all now we own a row we own a row we own a row we gotta go we gotta go um Ooh, I got my backpack. Okay, good. Cause I got paperwork and stuff that I have to get filled out. Um, yeah, it should be in my backpack. But I have some paperwork and stuff that I have to get filled out, like my preceptor contracts. I have to go and meet with the floor manager, stuff like that. So I'm just hoping I don't forget anything. Just my luck, I would like forget something important and that would make me so mad. I got my jacket in the trunk. I got my coat in the trunk. So we're good there. Y'all know how cold I be. Um, yeah. So hopefully today isn't going to be too long of a day. Because y'all, I, I am so tired. And this drive be taking so much out of me. On a drive there yesterday, I felt like I was good. But after sitting for my test and 
been like driving back i want to say i made it a good way through that drive and i started getting so sleepy i'm talking exhausted so yeah but it's dark y'all can't see me y'all can probably barely hear me because it's loud in here right now so i'm gonna just see y'all when i get to the hospital So I just got to the hospital and I'm trying to see, I looked at the freaking map last night to try to see where I'm supposed to be parking at and um, <laughs> I'm going to have to look at it again because I'm low key lost. So let's see, I think, let me just park right here for a second. How do I get in there? How do I get in the hospital? I feel like I see a lot of people walking that way. So yeah, it got to be over there. Okay. I I hope I don't lose my car. I'm, am I gonna be able to find my way back here? Hold up. Um. Y'all, let me tell y'all what my real dumb self just did. Let me tell you what I just did. So I'm in a completely wrong place right now. <laughs> oh, I'm in the complete wrong place i'm at the wrong hospital right now i'm at the hospital that i'm actually going to be working in right and i familiarize myself with this like all of this stuff that i'm looking at right now i remember this because i remember it was like um i want to say after we did our open labs i actually came to drive around this area and i remember being disappointed at the lack of like food places i haven't found any like nice food places or anything but i did find that taco place that taco place that saved it anyway so I'm thinking, okay, I'm cool. I pull up, park the car, get out. I go into the hospital and I'm like, I'm supposed to be meeting with, you know, my instructor, um, one of my instructors in the lobby. Cool. I go to the lobby. Nobody's there. I'm like, maybe I'm in the wrong lobby. I go to another lobby. No. So then I go up to the floor that I'm supposed to be working on and I'm thinking maybe it's a lobby up here. No, there's nothing there. All the nurses on the floor were like really nice and they were um, basically telling me a little bit about the unit and stuff like that. But I don't know where my instructor is. So I'm in our group chat, me and some of the other girls in the class. Um, we made a group chat and we just communicate just keep it you know each other updated and stuff and i'm texting them like hey and my internet my internet is not working like i don't know what it is my service out like over there was acting really bad it looks good now but i was in i was texting them and i'm like hey like can somebody tell me like where i'm supposed to be am i in the right place what's going on so they're like helping me and y'all if y'all watching this they shouldn't because i don't be like putting my youtube channel out there but when i say it's early it was like six something and these girls were up texting me back helping me out ripping out their computers like look i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna love this group that i'm in, like that i'm in school with or whatever anyway so i go back downstairs and i'm like okay maybe i'm in the wrong place they send me where i'm supposed to be and it was um like the hospital i ended up leaving out and i'm asking the front desk i'm like hey where's this place at she's like oh it's going to be over there i completely walk past and i end up at this little bitty building that's closed and i'm like okay this can't be it like this this isn't anything so i go back and i'm like no i'm looking for the cancer center and she's like oh yeah it's right there across the street and i'm looking and i'm like okay that don't that building don't look like it has nine floors i'm pretty sure maybe maybe it's a illusion trick maybe it's it maybe it's a trick to the eye i go in there and i ask the lady i'm like oh I'm, I'm looking for the elevator i need to go to the ninth floor this lady goes well honey you're not superwoman so i don't know how you're gonna get to the ninth floor because we don't have that here and i was like wait what what do you mean come on and so i show her the phone and i'm like um is like is is this not it like this is the place right here she goes oh sweetheart you're supposed to be in winston and i was like <laughs> what <laughs> say that again come again so i'm calling my instructor again i was like so <laughs> i'm actually in the wrong place and i just I'm, I'm grateful for the grace i'm so grateful for the grace because she's like don't rush you know you wasn't going to be here for a whole two hours more than likely in the first place so just come here we can do everything and i was like thank you because when i say i was about this i was gonna get there it said i was gonna it was gonna take me about 30 minutes to get there i'm gonna make it 15. i'm gonna make it 15. <laughs> so oh my gosh y'all today 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 
All right, y'all, I made it. I made it. We got one more thing that we have to do. So I have to go back over there, get a quick tour, get a paper signed, um, speak to the floor manager to get that paper signed. The floor, the, yeah, the, the, the charge nurse to get that paper signed or whatever and then yeah head home but before i do ooh, head to get those tacos again then head home mm, those tacos was so good yesterday hey y'all what's up it is thursday it's thursday i'm pretty sure it's noon now i don't know but i just came back from the gym i got on my gym clothes and y'all i forgot both my cameras when i left this morning <sighs> I forgot, uh, I forgot both of my cameras when I left out this morning. I'm about to hop in a shower. I have to wash my face because I've been getting, like I was sweating a lot and so I'm getting the crumbs that be on your face. So yeah, I'm about to get in the shower, do my skincare and stuff like that, eat my food and take a nap before I get up to start studying, so. Bye. Yeah, that the door for the day, man. <laughs> <laughs> they be come, they be flying in. As soon as you open the door, they be flying in. Like, oh, thank you. Mm, it's late for me. Ten flies come in. You open the door for eight seconds. Oh! Makes that, makes that, makes that. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, what's up? Listen. Oh, dang it. That's what I meant to say. I need to get my migraine pills. I feel like I'm getting a migraine. Anyway, um, me and a hubby is in the truck. We taking a big body today. We in daddy's truck. But we on our way to a concert. And I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, we in Big Daddy's truck today, y'all. We about to go to a concert. We low-key running late because I took a nap and I woke up late. Um, I tried to put myself together. I don't like my makeup. I don't like my hair. I barely like my outfit. But you know what? The body bringing it all together. So we're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time. I'm trying to wait. Um, I was low-key trying to stall because my son... I think this is his first time walking home from school this year so far. He's in football practice. Ain't gonna never leave this place. <laughs> we ready. <clears throat> so yeah. I was telling him I didn't like my makeup. Man, okay. What does it look like? I mean, it's kind of dark in here. See. Like, but in the dark though. It looks it, fine. It looks like, like a Barbie doll or something. <laughs> Tell them where we going, baby. We're going to a Jason Ardeen's concert. If you like some nice calm country music. Some nice calm country music. Just like the theater. Oh, it's pretty nice.
Good morning. It is morning. It is about to be eight o'clock in the morning and I just finished dropping Derry on off. Why did I say his name like that? Derry on. I just finished what dropping Derry on off at school just in time. I'm supposed to be heading to the gym right now, which is why I have on my gym attire. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna keep talking about these freaking workout sets from Shein because they are so cute. They just aren't gym, like true gym material. They're gym-esque. But I keep saying that they're gym-esque. But yeah, this color that I have on, it's like this light blue color and it is so pretty. It's so flattering against my skin. So I'm loving that. But I'm heading home right now because I forgot my water bottle. I forgot my water bottle somehow and I also want to pick up an extra battery for my camera because y'all I don't know what's up with this camera and I keep seeing the same things when it comes to the reviews for the Sony ZV-1 because I have the, C the Sony ZV-1 M2 and this battery dies so fast. Water secured. Y'all like my new Stanley? I think I showed y'all this already. And I bought this cute little thing off Amazon to put on a little dingly bit. So it's my new gym cup and don't mind that. It'd be annoying sometimes, but it's cute. So I'll leave it on there. Anywho, let's go ahead and get back. I got my batteries as well. Let's head back on the road. Go to the gym. Last night was so fun. Last night was such a good, it was, it was a good time. We went to the Jason Aldean concert and I will say this, I've been to maybe two other concerts in my entire life and not one of those concerts, y'all I'm sorry about this sun if it's super, super bright, but not one of those um, other artists at the other concerts I've been to, it's almost like, you know how they have the people that come out before them, um, I don't know what you call them, but like they're the people that come out before the main person that everybody's there to see come out, right? all those lineups except one that whole lineup chef's kiss whole lineup was perfect absolutely loved it and um as far as jason coming out and singing almost two and a half albums what he sang so many songs he sang so many freaking songs i feel like any other concert i went to the um artists would just come out sing one and a half song everything else is just playing from like a track and then it's like all right thank you i love you bye and that's it it's a wrap they've been out there for a whole 15 minutes maybe this man slept good last night he had to he had to have slept good like him his 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 band they all had to have slept good last night because when i say they was on that stage for so long it's, I want to say he probably came out around 8-ish, 8, maybe 8.30. Let me see, 8, 8.30. I kid you not. We did not leave until around 11 o'clock. Yeah, he was out there. He was out there showing off. He was out there showing out. And like he was going through so many songs. And one of my, like, I don't know a lot of songs by him, right? But one of my favorites is You Make It Easy. And I was waiting, I was just waiting for him to sing that song. And he had made it through so many songs, I'm like, okay, he might not sing it. Y'all, when that song came on, I knew it immediately. Like, as soon as I heard the little guitar melody, I was like, ah, ah, he's singing it, he's singing it. And it was so funny, cause like everybody just singing their hearts out. They got their boos, I got my hubby. It was fun, it was such a good time. But we got back so late. It was like maybe 1.20ish when we got back. And yeah. I won't lie, when I woke up this morning, I felt, I was so tired, I felt hungover. I felt, don't get me wrong, I had like a drink. It was like a little pina colada while we were at the concert. But y'all already know, I do not like drinking. I don't like the taste of alcohol, so if I can taste too much alcohol in my drink, I'm not gonna drink it. So hubby drunk most of my stuff. Anyway, I was so tired, I felt hungover. Because we had to drive an hour, now get, mind you, we drove an hour and a half to get there. The concert ended at around 11-ish, let's say 11.30. You go out to the parking lot, the parking lot is a mess. It took us about 30 minutes to even get out of the parking lot. Then another hour and 30 minutes to get home, it seemed like, and I was just like, ugh. ugh. Other than that, it was a really, really good time. It was a really good time. I felt so bad waking up this morning, but hey, I'm up, I got my water. I did not get no pre-workout or any energy drink, so that's gonna suck, but other than that, we good. We in there, we in there. So I'ma see y'all at the gym. 
and hopefully I finish up at the gym in time to get some Chick-fil-A um, yeast rolls because I feel like Chick-fil-A trying me right now. Chick-fil-A trying me and they better stop playing with me. <laughs> in here i got my id okay anyway y'all i am in the panera line i'm grabbing a drink and i just grabbed a freaking chai tea no i didn't grab a chai tea i grabbed a madagascar vanilla latte and i feel like i should have grabbed the chai tea um i used to always get this when i was in texas but we gonna see i was gonna go to starbucks but i wanted to switch it up and try something a little bit different so i'm gonna get a drink from here and I got something that I used to get, but I don't know. I feel like I should have got it. <laughs> I like it. It's fine. I'll just taste it. And then if it's good, I'll keep it. But then you already know I want to go to Chick-fil-A and get my yeast roll with honey butter. That's if I can make it over there in time. And if they have them, they ran out yesterday. I don't know. Y'all, I just, I just need it. I need my fix. Anyway, um, I just left the gym too. Y'all, today was so smooth. Today was it was so smooth um the hardest part was my sumo squats that was the hardest part and it was only 50 pounds y'all i don't know why that was so heavy but it was so heavy last i left off i was at 70 pounds because i've done that specific workout i haven't done in a while it's been months since i've done that specific workout and any workout that i do i always put the workout and then the the pounds or the amount of weight or what i was using at the time i was you know doing that specific exercise and it was at 70 pounds and i was struggling today with 50 and this is why taking a hiatus from the gym is ill-advised because why why that was so bad it was so painful i'm gonna tell you like this i feel like going to the gym is hard because of the pain and people say oh no it, it's supposed to be painful and discipline this discipline that i'm gonna need for y'all to stop being psychotic I'm gonna need for y'all to stop being psychotic because being in pain isn't the part that's dis that's the discipline. Being in pain, giving yourself some grace, resting if you need to, but continuing to go. That's the discipline part. What's wrong with y'all? It's my wallet. Well, latte yes. Ooh, I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. I, it just hit me like right now. My stomach is on E. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I just realized I did not ask for this with oat milk. I'm about to take a little sip of it, but I don't think I'm going to drink this. I just don't want to do that to myself. I do not feel like going through that. And y'all know the stomach pain. Oh my gosh. There's so much whipped cream on this. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just want to try it. I ain't going to try it. This was a waste of money. Yeah. It was definitely. Come on now. Seriously? Ugh, this was a waste of money. At least my yeast roll with honey butters are pretty decent. I can tell they didn't put like extra honey butter on it, but. Hmm. I'm not gonna let breakfast ruin my day. I'll throw this away too. Just so I don't get an attitude. So I think what I'm about to do. Hmm. Oh. I just got a text. But I think I'm about to go ahead and stop at the mall. Because I gotta pick up some socks. And. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm about to go ahead, go um, go to the mall. I gotta grab some socks. And then I'm gonna head to post so I can get my son's glasses fixed and drop them off to him at school. I'm gonna see y'all whenever I find somewhere to get a decent bite to eat, cause I can't finish this. All right, y'all, the mall was a fail. <laughs> I did not know that the mall opened at 11 and I got in there like at 10 30 something and it's now 10 56 and I'm just over it so we're gonna go to Dick's they seem to be open yeah so they're open so let's go and travel over there 
and see if I'm gonna go. Are we about to act crazy? Let's go to Dick's and see if I can find some socks there. They look like they would have had more colors anyway, because the only thing I saw in here was some socks at um Foot Locker, but I didn't see Nike socks. I saw Adidas. So let's go somewhere else. We are finally back home and I'm tired. Not tired where I need to take a nap, but tired like I need to hurry up and get in the shower and just try to chill. But to be completely honest, it is 1447 and my phone is on 18%. I gotta charge my phone. But my son is gonna be getting out of school soon and it is so hot outside. How hot is it? Hey Siri, what's the weather right now? It's 93 degrees. So it is 93 degrees and I swear it feels so much hotter, so much suffocating. I have the time. I'm not going to have him walk home from school. I'm going to go pick him up. I always try to pick my kids up and drop them off any chance I get, especially with all of this newfound free time now that your girl is retired from the military. So this is what I pray for. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm just going through all my stuff right now. So y'all know I have my gym bag mini gym bag so i'm just taking out um certain stuff like my camera batteries that died my camera <laughs> look at this nerd <laughs> okay for all of the wait a second y'all i really need to make sure like i try to keep my bag as organized as possible it's not up here, but I'm going to show y'all later. But I try to keep my stuff as organized as possible because I'm telling you, having to prep for everything else on top of prepping to go to the gym, it just defeats the purpose. I have fragrances galore, fragrances all over the place. I'm the person that's going to hop out of the car just to walk into the gas station to grab something real quick, but I got to spray myself before I do that. Speaking of spray, all right. So y'all, I went to the uh, PX earlier and I was able to get my Twilly. So we got a little rip. We got a little rip on the Twilly, and I'm super excited about that. And then um, I had to get a rip of the Burberry Hair Elixir because y'all. Okay, so first of all, let's go to the fragrance rack. Y'all see it over here, back here. Let's go over here. If you haven't seen my collection already, let me introduce you. So I have all of these fragrances. Well, you probably. Those are those fragrances on this tier. Then we go down here. Then we're going down here. And then this is the last tier. Yeah, that is my fragrance collection. It's a pretty decent sized fragrance collection. I'm proud of it. But I will say, and I feel like I touched on this and spoke a little bit about this before, it's gotten too big for me. It's gotten a little too big for me. Not not too big, but I have too many things now in my collection that I don't necessarily love anymore. I don't necessarily use. And I don't even know because now, like, this just looks like a jumble mess. I promise before it grew this big, it used to look so cute and organized and like real aesthetic. <laughs> anyway, oh, I forgot to put this back. Here's another one. This one goes up here. What is that? What did I use that for? Oh, last night at the concert. That's what I wore last night to the concert. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So I want to reorganize all of this and I'm thinking um, I'm going to, I don't even know, like I don't even know where to start. I want to start taking down some of the perfumes and putting some, like putting some away and just switching them out with the seasons and stuff like that. Because again, there's some that I don't like right now, but then later on, maybe I'll like it. One that I know for a fact. I just won't be keeping is this one I'm actually going to be giving that to Trey's mom because she really liked the um, Victoria's Secret bombshell fragrances I know she had the blue one and when I was going through her perfumes when we went to the baby shower um, I saw that she had the blue one and it was almost gone so I'm gonna give her this one set that to the side I don't know when's the next time we're going out there. I might have to send that, send it to her. But I know I want to give that one to her. Another one that I don't know. Like, I'm back and forth with this one. The Chanel. This is the number. The Coco Chanel de Toilet. I feel like this was the... No, that's not it. This is the Chanel number five. Lou. I love this one still. That one's not a problem. But this one, 
I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this one. Honestly, I just like the simplicity of the bottle. That's probably why I still have it. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I need to actually wear it. Like a day that I don't have to like really go anywhere. I need to spray this on my body to wear it, like give it a chance to like dry down and stuff like that. Just so I can see it's true power. But like stuff like that. Like I have a lot of that in my collection that I just don't necessarily use. Like this one, again. It's the same, I feel like this is the same with that um, Coco Chanel, but I feel like this is, this is more fruity, but I feel like both of those are still a little bit mature. And I don't know if I like that. So yeah, I have a few of those here in my collection that I just don't necessarily know what to do with. Don't get me wrong, it's not a lot at all. Like it's just a few that I don't use. Like the three that I just showed y'all, I feel like I don't really use those. So I'm trying to figure out what it is that I wanna do with them. But everything else is like, it'll be an on and off season. Like I'll love it and then I won't. Like this beautiful bell. When I smelled this in a store, I was in love with it and y'all just saw that I'm still in love with it I stopped using it for some reason because I'm just like maybe I got sick of it I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it I don't really like it and then I tried it I was like let me just give it a chance before I get rid of it let me give it a chance still loved it so it's still in my collection so I have quite a few of those I'm just trying to figure out how I want to move forward with my collection as of right now um, but again this one that's always going to stay in my collection this one is always going to stay in my collection. I got the big one this time around because I love it so much. But when I first got it, this was my first one. And it's almost gone. So I had to go ahead and re-up the one. That one. Like I said, I don't talk about my collection that much. But I love it. I love it a lot. But let me show y'all five. There's more than five. But I'm going to show y'all five that I'm going to always, 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 always have in my collection. Starting with Vanilla Woods seven virtues because this if y'all been here long enough y'all know that this is my absolute favorite fragrance this was actually my hospital fragrance because i don't know where y'all work but at our hospital we were able to wear fragrances and stuff like that that wasn't something that was frowned upon um and so for me i like i love my fragrances right it's a hobby of mine i love my fragrances and working in healthcare, it was kind of a clash because it's like you don't want to be offending your patients but I mean, I was always at work. Where am I gonna wear these fragrances? Because I'm always at work. So I found wearing this fragrance here is all is a go-to. This one and this one. This was another very pleasing one. So every single time I wore these, no matter what the situation is, um, so every single time I sprayed those on, I would get compliments from like the other nurses, my doctors, my patients and stuff like that. Because those two in particular, the Coconut Cove by Skylar and then the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods, they were really close to the skin. So it's kind of like a skin scent. So it's not offensive and overwhelming to the nose. And it's just very, very subtle. Like you would have to be like in my personal space in order to like really get like a nice whiff of it so it's usually when i'm doing my assessment and i'm like listening to breath sa breath sounds and stuff like that so my patients will be like oh my gosh you smell so good what is that and y'all already know i don't get keep so i'm gonna bust out my phone and i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm wearing just in case you want to buy it but so those two the ones these are the first two that i will always have in my collection those two there so going to go ahead oh y'all midnight in dubai Midnight in Dubai. This is another one that will always, always, always be in my collection. It's just a very, it's very feminine. I feel like it's very sweet, but it's gonna sound weird, but it's a little peppery scent in there as well. I don't know what it is. I don't know what note I pick, like my nose picks up, what, what note is doing that to my nose, but it's very, it's, it's very sexy. I feel like it's very sexy and it's kind of like, it smells expensive. I'm gonna put it that way. And I just love it. That one is going to always be in my collection. Mm, ooh. This one right here. Is it this one? Oh, no, 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 no. See, I told y'all it's a lot, but I'm only showing y'all five. This here is Idol by Lancome. And when I say this is my 
this is one of my favorites and I'm gonna be completely honest I had like a small small one like I bought this one and I was spraying it so much where it was like I was using a lot of it and I had the little sample size as well so when I use the sample size and I start chucking away at this one I'm like mm -mm, I gotta find another favorite scent because we cannot be I don't want to run out of this so this one smells so good it's just so so sweet I feel like it's a little bit floral it's so sexy and I feel like you can wear this at any time but the smell is just so pleasing but it's definitely not a hospital scent Ooh, I might do that I'm gonna do a video like my hospital scents versus what you get what I'm saying Am I anyway and oh this uh, pistachio gelato yum by Kali listen i love this so much it smells like when you i like to pair this with it's either gonna be this mark jacobs or um what is this is this the, the mark jacobs so fresh is that so fresh yeah so fresh with the yeah so fresh this one this paired with either one of those i feel like this paired with any mark jacobs fragrance aside from the perfect in intense this goes so good with any Marc Jacobs fragrances so this will always be in my collection 100% and I feel like that was five um, and again I technically gave y'all seven because I already told y'all these will always be in my fragrance collection as well but I kind of ranted about that I you know what I I think I am gonna start making videos about my fragrances because I do like talking about them I just feel like I don't know enough about fragrances because I'm gonna tell y'all right now y'all have watched the videos of like the fragrance people and how they can describe the scents and the notes and the I can't do that I can't do that I'm gonna tell you the like ideal scene I will wear it in or what season is best for wearing it but as far as describing the notes and getting into it like that I I can't do that I can't do that so but anyway let me go ahead and hop in the shower real quick I'm pretty sure it's now time for me Ooh. it's time for me to go and pick up my son so I'm gonna go and do that come back in the shower and then chill I'm gonna see y'all later I'm probably gonna be shutting this video down soon coming up here because I don't want it to be too long but I'll be back to say bye their end of life wishes with their families before they are no longer able to communicate. This includes Types of advanced directives. Common end of life documents include do not resuscitate DNR directive to provide no life saving. Hey Battle Bays, welcome to Saturday night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Honestly, I'm just here to close this vlog out because y'all, that's it. We made it Monday through Friday. I even gave y'all this little extra something, something on a Saturday. So yeah, I just finished. Ooh, what was that? I just finished uh, turning in the rest of my assignments and stuff for school that's due on, well, tomorrow. So that's done and over with. I'm about to sit here, eat my tacos, watch some story times on youtube and just chill y'all it's a long weekend hubby don't go to work monday so i get him today tomorrow and monday so i'm excited about that i just want to show y'all my tacos look at that look at that this is leftover from last time i was down towards the school campus i had to get me some extras because i'm telling y'all these tacos i feel like it's lopez tacos or taco lopez or something like that but they taste so good they are so freaking good. I'm about to go ahead and drink that with my water. If y'all haven't already, y'all need to try this water. At Walmart, I usually get the big bottles, but they don't have this specific flavor in the bottle, so I get the cans, and it's so good. Like, if you're trying to stop drinking soda, go to Walmart and get you some of these. They got different flavors and stuff like that, and they literally taste just like soda. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Bye.